Hey, hey, what is up, everyone? Dave, hey, what's up, Joe? Yeah, I switched some things around. Um, so let me grab a stack of cards. Also, the microphone is in a... Hey, what's up, Ryan? We're super happy to see you back, man. It's crazy. I was, um, I was doing shipping today, if you can tell. Got more nicks and cuts finishing up on some shipping. And I was, I was doing shipping with Ceci, and she was like, you know whose name I haven't seen in a while? Ryan Strain. And I was like, wow, you remember? And she was like, yeah, I used to write his name on boxes all the time. And I was like, oh, he's on spring break. <laughs> You're already a household name here, Ryan. Um, what's up, Mike? So, real quick, um, I'm, I did change the position of the microphone. So, if you guys could give me a mic check, please. And let me know if the mic sounds as good as it used to, or better, or worse, or the same. And then the other thing is, I did adjust lighting. So, like, if I'm holding them like this, there shouldn't be a glare. And then obviously, so like, let's say we're going through the stack. Okay, there's a nice card. Wow, look at that. So there, there shouldn't be, obviously if I cant it like way this way, actually these don't glare. If I cant the card to the, my right, it's gonna do it. But as long as I keep it someone, somewhat, um, you know, perpendicular, I guess, to the camera, it's fine as long as I don't come way to the right. So, sounds good. Awesome. Thank you, Joe. Looks great, Dave says. So, yeah, this is my test pack. These are all... I made this stack just to, you know, do different camera checks because it has different type of cards. Obviously, to the, the ones facing the right that we already passed, they're going to be at that sharp right angle. Um, but again, like... Boom, here we go, we're going through. Oh wow, a hit, wow, congratulations. Going to the Braves on this one of one, Matt Olson, holy cow. Hey, what's up, Ed? We're just, we're, I guess I'm role playing right now. I have no idea what I'm doing. I was just testing the lighting with this stack of cards. What's up, Daniel? Hola, mi amigo. Oye, Daniel, pero tu sabe que? Mira. Mira que shot tiene two cards. Is this a refractor actually? Is that a that looks like a refractor? I'm pretty sure that's a refractor. So you have sixty dollars credit with us, Daniel. Um if for you guys that bowl, one of my main guys, uh, like I've talked about before, his name is Ralph. I don't know how the bowling ball world um, is, but man, Ralph gives me great pricing on, on everything, I feel like. So if you guys ever need like custom made bowling balls or bowling ball stuff, uh, let me know because half of his shop is bowling balls and half of his shop is baseball cards. So... Some of you would be in heaven if you ever went to Ralph's shop. Nice. Saving it for 2022 update. Oh, yeah. So glad you said that, Daniel. Real quick, let me let you folks know what I have. Uh, by the way, the only team that hasn't sold is the Royals. They're normally 160. I'll let them go for 130. If not, I'll just keep them because... Man, that's a top three team. That's a my custom balls are one of ones. So for that, I'll just hold on to the Royals and the A's and the Twins. You could pull a lot of heat out of that. So, um, but if anyone wants the Royals, Twins, and the A's, I'll let them go for one thirty. That's thirty dollars off the price. Um, I did see the offer for one ten, but it's just too low for that. I, I would keep it. I, I'd rather be in the break and keep it. I know, Brent. Yep. So, do I. how how did you? Oh, you got it through Tops. 
All right, Aaron says he will take the Royals. They are yours, sir. Let me plug you in. Give me one second. Let me just um, plug him in. Hold on one second. Oh, never mind. The Royals are sold, Aaron. The Royals are sold to Brandon Eller. He did comment eight minutes ago. Or several minutes ago, he'll take it. But I was already live and didn't see it. So we are sold out. We are sold out. Royals are not available, Aaron. But, Aaron, for that little inconvenience, I'm going to send you a nice treat. And let me know if you sent it so I can um, refund it. Yeah, it's what happens. Like, so I have the posting on Facebook, but like right now I'm on YouTube. I'm not monitoring Facebook. And then people keep commenting. They'll take teams on Facebook, but I'm already on YouTube, you know, offering things up. But Brandon did comment. You can go in there and look a couple of minutes ago saying he would take the Royals. So. Yep, I saw Brandon. They are yours. They are yours. We will do the right thing. All right, so here we go. All teams are accounted for. We did sell out, so I am going to be giving away. I am going to be giving away two of these. These things go for like $15 or $20. They have some cool inserts in it. It's from 2022 Top Series 2. Um, I opened one on camera the other day just to see what type of inserts. The inserts are really nice. I had like a Spencer Torkelson, Wander Franco, Jeremy Pena, and like cool uh, exclusive inserts. So we'll give away two of those. And then we're also going to give away... Bill sold a big card. What did he sell? And then how many $25... Holy cow, four. Okay, we're doing... Four $25 giveaways tonight. So that so that that's pretty good. So a hundred dollars in giveaways going out tonight. Real quick, let me just check PayPal. We had a lot a lot of last minute things. I want to feel squared away and organized. And um, so just give me a second. Check PayPal and we're ripping. No randoms necessary. The only thing I have to do is Okay, Michael's in, Rhino's in, Steve is in, Ed is in, Edward is in. Brandon is in. Brandon, I see you in for the Mariners. Whenever you can, just shoot the Royals payment in. Yeah, we'll do the random for all six things at the end. So four $25 giveaways and those two boxes. All right, so real quick before we get started, um, I just want to let you guys know what I have on order and what's getting here in a couple of days. Um, I ordered some fun stuff. 2022 Tops Update, uh, which is the holy grail of um product right now he only had one case available and i bought it and it ain't cheap but i got it all right thank you brandon um i ordered two cases of 2022 top series two where you can still get j-rod autos and sps and bobby witt sps and all that and spencer torkelson i got um a full case of 2022 tops chrome jumbos with silver packs and we're gonna rip that as soon as it gets here because anyone who gets the yankees are the cardinals um i will give you instant um credit for all of the um buybacks that you guys hit because we only have a couple days and i have um tuka, tuka, tuka. what was the other thing i have a couple other cool things anyways i have some cool stuff coming Ryan, the 10 casers a go if we can get nine people. I'll pay for I'll buy into it. I'll take a spot. 
my honest opinion, Ryan, uh, while well, I'm going to open the case, my honest opinion, okay, if we're going to do a 10 caser, man, I honestly feel like we should do a 10 caser of series 2022 series two or update. To the logo right there. That's my personal opinion. I mean, Gunnar, Hinder Gunnar Henderson's a great chase. Adley's a catcher. Um, you know, um, what's his name? Grism is, is decent. But I feel like I'd rather chase the 2022 rookie class than the 2023 rookie class. Again, there's some great names in there but like if you go on ebay and look at what the 2023 rookie rookies from series one are going for dude i'm just being a hundred percent honest with you ryan i feel like the return on investment is no longer there on series one i'm just being honest i i, I would love to throw the 10 caser ups not fill it and everyone gets screwed i mean i wouldn't love that part but that's what would happen like i don't want that to happen to you guys and the reality is this real quick when i first bought it it was relatively inexpensive and we were cracking five casers we did that several times with very man i bet a lot of you are wishing you would have bought into more of those you know i kept it very reasonably priced but now they're fourteen hundred dollars that's from my distributor i was able to get them for thirteen fifty now if i want them from my distributor they are fourteen hundred dollars i'm trying to uh let's see yeah so um series one jumbo fourteen hundred dollars so no thank you dude i just bought a psa 10 brett Beatty camo so a, a psa 10 brett Beatty camo to 25 psa 10 and and um i paid 650 for it i i just don't think the return on investment is there at this at this price point with series one that that's my honest opinion I'm just trying to look out for you, for you guys. I, but a 10 caser of like 2022 tops series two, you know, where I could get those for a lot better of a price and you're chasing a lot of big names and SPs and all their autographs are still in it. Like to me, that's a bit a better return on investment. So. That's my opinion. That's me looking out for you guys. It is a super fun product. It is full of hits. But um, I did watch a 10 caser of it happen the other day. And uh, I was not super impressed. I'll be honest. I was not super impressed. I don't know. I just feel like a 10 caser of something else of 2022. Dude, for $1,400 is my cost, right? Okay. Now, for almost the same price, I think I paid $1,600 or a little bit more for um, 2022 Tops Update. We could do a 10 caser with that if we could find it. Look at all these little minis. Jesus. All right, let's knock these minis out. Machado. Some of these I can't even read. How's the glare? How's the lighting? How's the microphone sound? There's Seeger, green. These things are so fun to try and uh, drop top. 
What's up, Mizzy? What's up, John? What's up, Steve? Mike Trout, Muncie on the refractor. Oh, there's another one. Randy Ferreira. Alec Thomas, rookie. Juan Yepes, rookie. That's going to be numbered to 199. Going to the Cardinals. Probably one of the best um, rookie DHers out there. Probably one of the only two. But Hernandez going to the Diamondbacks. That's two for the D-backs already. Another one. Marte, Lewis, Gill. All rookies will be sleeved. Otto Lopez. We do have an orange coming up. Jose Miranda, one of my top fives. And Torres going to the Yankees and De La Cruz behind them. So Torres going to the Yankees. That is 13 out of 25 on the orange. Yeah, I feel like the lighting looks so much better. So anyways, that's my personal opinion. I'm for the people. If nine other people are like, Jay, I hear what you're saying. It makes sense. But guess what? We want to do a 10 k of 2023 Top Series 1. I'll do it. For me, the best ROI is 2022 update. Well, I guess one of the other... There's two big benefits to... Um, there's two big benefits to 2023 Top Series 1. And that is, one is it does have a lot more hits in it than previous years compared to previous years. And the other big thing is there's more teams have more, like more teams have nice hits in them. So it's a nicer spread. So there is that. Man, I just wish they wouldn't be free. I just wish they weren't price gouging that product right now. Such a, a great product, man. Leave it to, to the big boys to make sure. Fanatics released it at an affordable price and leave it to them to make it not affordable. <laughs> Got my Vaquero in the mail yesterday. Man, it's an awesome card. Awesome, Aaron. Let's see a one of one Bigfoot. Oh, yeah. But he's not in this. Yeah, and this, yeah, Dave, uh, you do have the Leprechaun. Man, literally, dude, you could freaking put money on crypto, the stock market. You could buy a house, a car, and flip it the next day. <laughs> oh, I did get um, I did get something in the mail today. I'll show you after this box. Let's get all these little babies out. There they are. Any more babies? There they are. All right. Robinson. Oh, there's our, our boy we were just talking about. Here's a great rookie, rookie, Brendan Donovan. If you guys are into rookie collecting this is someone you definitely want to look into weirdo spot Mackenzie Gore blue to 150 that's 73 out of 150 also the way the lighting is now I can actually like see numbers and Jeremy Pena rookie Brett uh, Shane Baz there's another one Corey Seager we're gonna look at all of them in a second there's a nice one to the Nats. C.J. Abrams on the rookie image variation. Oh, I'm digging the lighting so much better. Ramos. 
How's the lighting for you folks? Fox going to the Nats. Charlie Sheen. Oh, there's a nice Charlie Sheen right there for the weirdo spot. That is one. Wow. One out of 199. One out of 199. That's awesome. All right, now let's check out our little mini cards. Get everything sleeved up and we'll head into the next box. Let's get CJ Abrams rookie variation nice and safe. Let's get this nice and safe. He's gonna get a top loader. Awesome, Dave, thank you. 20, two, 329 for tops, 179 for Ginter, which includes all inserts and SP. Seems darker. Wow, on my screen, on my screen, it looks brighter. Wow, it looks dark. Wow, I think it looks so bright on my screen. All right. All right, so you are getting a hard top. That's a refractor Ramos rookie. He'll get a hard top. Top loader. We call them here uh, in the shop. We call them drop tops. <laughs> Don't forget to drop top that. Yeah, it's been a busy shipping week. Uh, especially with that tops gold label and how small the uh, class three class two class one stuff is that was not fun all right we still have our little minis to go through Oh, nice. Wander Franco. I was reading chat. Wander Franco on the rookie image variation. Be real. Some park. Shane. Bieber. Ozzy. Another park. Another Seeger. And her name is Kate Brownell. Br Brownell. I don't know. You guys know me in last names. We do not get along. <laughs> We do not get along, which is crazy because between the military and police work, you would think, you know, always we call everyone by their last name, even our buddies when we're off duty. It's like, hey, I'm going to Martinez's house or whatever. It's last name. But yeah, I'm just not that last name. Good pronouncer guy. Wow. So it's a little darker. Let me see, maybe if I move this here. On this day in 2001, Randy Johnson obliterated a dub. Oh, was that on this day? Wow, 22 years ago. No kidding. All right, we are on to box two. Let me get these minis. Okay, squared away, squared away. Here we go, next box. Good luck, everyone. Let me get my mouse out of the way. They do have a bird relic for that? No kidding. I didn't know that. So we are expecting to see at least one auto out of this and one X-Fractor. 
However, I did open a case the other day and it had two autos in it. One of them was a Dave Winfield autograph out of five. And then the other one was a gold Mackenzie Gore rookie auto. Oh yeah, I know all about that. It's crazy. I would buy it though. What would it be like just a piece of the beak or maybe some feathers? Of course you would buy it. All of us would buy it. Such an iconic card. I'm no longer just throwing my wrappers behind me. That is the worst. After a long break, I now have to clean up everything. So I just set them there and then I I, uh, I police them after the break. Or I put them all in the box. All right. Rodriguez, Molina. There is a Rodriguez. That is out of 199 going to the Seattle Mariners. Hope, hoping to hit some J-Rod. Garcia, the hawk. Speaking of birds, there's the hawk himself. Bo Bichette. Bellinger. Royce Lewis, rookie card. Going to the Twins. Tatis. Joe Ryan, going to the Twins. I'm telling you, the Twins... That's a good spot, that royal spot, man. Christian Yelich. That is 53 out of 99. For the Brew Crew, Tucker. The Yelich, not the Tucker. Jose Siri. Man, we are getting a lot to sleeve in this one. Beat out Brujan rookie. Tony Gwynn. I don't know why I showed him. Perez on the mini. Salvador. Rivera. And there's a uh, Jaron Duran rookie mini. And a Matt Verling. So a lot to sleeve up on that side of the uh, box. Yeah, I'm excited, man. We have some fun stuff coming. Uh, 2023 Bowman is around the corner. I'm part of some big Bowman groups. I'm trying to bring them over to our channel. Uh, because, um, man, I bought a lot of, I pre-ordered a lot of cases of that. So we're going to do multi-case breaks. We're going to have Tony. I spoke to Tony on the phone today, Tony Bowman, you know, the guy that was in here the other day and he is going to come and he's going to come open a couple of cases and really give a rundown on a lot of these prospects. Like he already has a sheet of the prospects that should be in it. He's already been doing his homework on it, making phone calls, this and that. So he's a wealth of knowledge. He has a great voice. He's a great guy. So um, he carries himself very well. So he will be nice. Uh, he'll do a little guest break for you guys. Um, so I'm very excited about that. We have tops. Chrome Platinum coming up. I ordered 25 cases or 30 cases of that. So tons of that coming up. Um, so yeah, just some fun stuff coming up. Some good times ahead. George Brett, Tar Bat Relic. <laughs> or how about like a Cork Relic? A well, a bird, 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 well, a bird is the word. A well, a bird, bird, bird. <laughs> Dude, have you seen that on the Family Guy episode? Oh, my God. They went too far with that song on the Family It just went on and on and on. Cole Sticky Stuff Relic. Dwight Gooden Crack Rock Relic. Aw, oh, come on. 
Come on, that was the line, guys. That was the line. Michael Jordan strikeout relic. That's the truth. Hey, but hey, A Rod steroid label relic. How about A Rod Jennifer Lopez? Uh, they wore an outfit material or something. That would be cool. Oh, yay, yay. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, Kevin, you guys are getting so savage. Oh my goodness. There we go. Spencer Torkelson right on the front. Spencer Torkelson. Whoop. There's a mini. They jump at you, Randy. On the mini. Meadows. I have to kind of hold it a little flatter than I like to. Blake Snell. Out of 150. That's 131 out of 150. Gabriel Arias. Cleveland Guardians. Rookie image variation. Scherzer. Walk. Oh, there's a Bobby Witt rookie. Bobby Witt Jr. on the rookie card. <laughs> Felt like that was an incomplete sentence. Henderson. Mackenzie Gore rookie. I do like Colton Welker. I do like that they, they do put a lot of rookies. Oh, we hit a one of one, guys, and it's a rookie. We hit a one of one, and it is a rookie. Castillo, one of one, super fractor. Diego Castillo for the Pittsburgh Pirates, one of one, super fractor on the mini. And I love that it is a rookie. I get so bummed out hitting a super fractor, and it's a veteran. So there we go, Pirates on the Super Fractor. Let me, uh, I want to read the back of this. Twenty seven home runs. He is from Venezuela. Seems like a pretty good dude. One of one super fractor. Beautiful. Dude, this is Castillo, man, for the Pirates. What do you mean, who is that? This is in my top five. So there you go. Super Fractor hit. Can we get another one? All right. Lodolo. Goldie. Stephen Kwan. Oh, we have a gold coming up too, folks. Welcome to the break. Marte, followed by Marte. All right, here is our gold. Who is hiding behind Kyle Riley? It is Cedric Mullins going to the Orioles. That is one out of 50. One out of 50. Nick Lodolo on the rookie image variation and Drew Ellis for the D-backs. Woof.
lot to uh, digest on that side of the box. <laughs> Dave, you've legit been predicting a one of one every break. So, no. Definitely not a free case. <laughs> every break I see you, one of one coming. Yeah, there's something about a one of one when you see that uh when you see that vinyl gold starting to shimmer up at you. And it usually uh kind of blends in. It's not as prominent as like the the reds and the oranges where you see the blues where you see them sticking out a mile away. So they kind of just come up and bite you and it's and it's kind of a double shock. And we already went through these. Yep. Oh, let me get that rookie squared away. Yeah, I was just thinking that, Joe. Maybe this is a first off the line case. done squaring our area away wrong oh, side all righty Yeah, it, it has, John. Uh, no, they fulfilled it. They fulfilled it. But the way they did it... Can I rant? Do you guys... Can I rant? Let me know if I can rant. And if I can about that situation. And then I will. Maybe I shouldn't rant. You know what? Never mind. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Anyways, yeah. I know the person that, that did it. I've been in many breaks with him. Um, yeah. Yeah, he bought 300 cases. <laughs> 300 cases. So, uh, no one else really had a shot unless you wanted to buy... 400 cases Remember like instant gratification in a hobby Means that it's not a hobby. It's more of a uh, I Don't know I'm not ranting. I'm just saying I'm not gonna rant But instant gratification You know can ruin a hobby. Let's say it like that for for you and, you know, for the person that's looking for instant gratification and for other people. You know, like that was meant to kind of be slow rolled and, you know, give you something to look forward to and trying to build that set and, you know, but uh, someone with a lot of money bought 300 cases of it for themselves. And, uh, yeah, and he got it. Wander Franco, rookie, green on the Byron Buxton. So, I don't know. I just feel like that was meant to be kind of slow rolled and 
Do we have more gold? We have more gold coming. Sheen, Daddy Sheen, Juan Yepes, Soto, Cedric, Big Poppy, and here is our gold, but I think they're, yep. Oh, this is going to be an auto tune. I do not know who it is, but I did see ink. Jeremy Pena on the rookie image variation. Sawinski. Trey Turner. Nice CJ Abrams coming up on the rookie. Another rookie for the Guardians. I don't know. What do you guys feel like? I felt like, you know, like their intent, Nick Allen rookie, was to definitely like give that. It's kind of like a long term goal. And uh, yeah, that goal is gone <laughs> already. It was gone in the first month. You know, like if if you have that much money, man, let the people with a l little bit less money than you that can't buy 300 cases try and get that grand prize, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. Anyways, here we go. Gold auto. Let me make sure it's an auto. It is an auto. I definitely see ink. Here we go. Oh, we already see the name. Sammy Sosa. That is sick. Sammy Sosa to the Cubs, hiding behind Ian, An or excuse me, Tim Anderson. That is sick, heading to the Cubs. He paid allegedly 900 a case. I don't believe that, though. 10 out of 50, Sammy Sosa going to the Cubs. And he uh, did write the number 01 on there. So this is our third uh, 01 sighting in this break so far. Uh, not necessarily, man. You could have been chasing it in breaks. You could have been chasing it in other ways. I mean, no one else attempted it. <laughs> it's not like there was multiple people that bought 300 cases. But again, I mean, to each their own. And he had a lot of fun doing it. And I'm sure he gave away a lot of stuff doing it. That's a 199 on the Killy Brew. Didn't we hit his relic the other day? And I was like, who the heck is this guy? <laughs> and uh, he had a lot of fun doing it. I'm sure he took care of a lot of people in the process, like all the openers and, you know, so I'm sure a lot of people benefited out of it. Um, You know, so I'm sure there was definitely some good with it, but I don't know. I'm the type, it's like, Man, leave that to the, give some people some hope. Let it marinate a little. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm very uh, crossed feeling about it. Dude, that is... Man, you are savage today, dude. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I, I, I've i talked to the guy before. Like I said, I've, I've been in a lot of breaks with him. Uh, he's a super nice guy. I'm not... I don't want anyone to think I'm taking any digs at him. I'm not... Um, if you don't, you know, I'm just saying, I feel like that should have been slow rolled a little. I guarantee you once it's official, once fanatics initially are officially announces it, which it is complete. I'll tell you that 
but once they announce it, I feel like the values on the SSPs are gonna go down, like literally market changing activity. No, he's a professional like fisherman, Dave. All right, here we go. Jazz Chisholm. Freed. Winder going to the Twins. Mike Schmidt, green and 99. 48 out of 99. Jaron Duran on the rookie variation. Aaron Ashby. Martinez, here comes a gold, another gold. Martinez, that is 090 out of 150. A gold Max Freed. Julio Rodriguez, rookie. Man, why couldn't you have been the gold? Bogarts. Josiah Gray. Ken Griffey Jr. Weirdo. Santillan. Santa, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Larry. Castillo, not the one of one. Ben Attendi. So yeah, I don't know. I wasn't really reading chat. And I was really, you know, I don't know. Dude, I love I, I would love to chase something like that with a group, but um yeah, if it's like a group effort and multiple you know, like 20, 30 people, you know, all kind of chasing it and you're doing it via breaks or maybe opening 10 cases a week, which is still a lot, okay? That that was that would still be about ten thousand dollars a week. You know, like, kind of drawing it out a little bit, but to just super rip over 200 cases, I don't know. I, I just feel like that's not what it was meant for. That's all I'm saying. Again, I'm sure a lot of people benefited from it. I'm sure he tipped and paid the openers a lot, you know, and took very good care of them. And um, obviously everyone on the team was... Obviously very ecstatic. I know eBay probably loves him because I know he listed a lot of his hits on eBay to recoup some of the money. William, you're rich now after that sale. You don't... I took a loss on that card. What card? What card did you sell? You should always anyone that's selling a big card. Man, you should always um, advertise here on the group. I didn't know you were selling a big card. What was it? What was the card that you sold, Bill? Holiday. It was a holiday elf auto, elf suit out of 25.
Oh, was that from uh, 2022, the 20... Dude, nowadays, as long as you are healthy and you have your mental health, you know, in check, you are doing great in life. You are doing great in life, man. I'll take health and mental health richness, wealth over monetary wealth any day of the week. My character is like a hearty stew. I, what would, what type of stew would Dave be? Dave, what kind of stew would you be? Like a mushroom, a mushroom stew. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Fifteen thousand, one in fifteen thousand packs. So isn't that like the same odds of pulling an auto out of Sonic, which I also took a bath on? That is crazy. Dirty Morris, sad dad food. Oh my God. All right. Anderson out of 92, or excuse me, 92 out of 199. Some cheese, Clemens, Tucker, Crawford. Little refractor action, Carew, Alvarez, Mountie, Judge. Ooh, there's a nice one for the Rays. Wander Franco, nice hit for the Rays. 92 out of 199. That is a nice card. I do not. I'm using my light here looking for any scratches. It probably doesn't look like it on your screen. Um, but it is on mine. Or in my visual. <laughs> Man, nice hit for the Rays. Rays are pretty much uh, free rolling the rest of this break. Between the image variation and this, I would think. Oops, I had my phone on this. That's why it's so far back. Nice hit, Tampa Bay. Ooh, Dave, just give me lobster. Oh, good. My glasses are in here. Brendan Donovan. I feel like I need my glasses. Actually, he needs to get sleeved. Hunter Green. Brandon, uh, excuse me. Um, yeah, Brandon Marsh. Phillies on the rookie image variation. Oh, there's a nice one. Going to, oh, there goes a the little guy. Uh, Matt Manning, rookie orange out of 25. That is four out of 25. It's to the Tigers and Ed with a Matt Manning rookie mini, uh, uh, mini rookie card to 25. How's Matt Manning doing? As you folks know, I do not follow pitchers. Nice hit there going to the Tigers and my boy Ed did we go through these already we did this one is the one that fell out yeah I hate holding them at this angle so much but you guys can kind of you can see who they are but uh yeah if not they just fall out Matt Manning rookie refractor to go along with the orange out of 25 Justin, did you see the dual auto Steve hit out of Sonic? I didn't. So when I went to Ralph's shop, he showed me the auto he hit, the CJ Abrams and Mackenzie Gore auto. 
And they're both rookies, but there was no rookie card logo. So I was, I was very disappointed uh, in that. I mean, they're both rookies. Put the freaking rookie card logo on it. What's up, Lindsay? My jam cartoon-wise growing up, I loved the Snorklers. Believe it or not, I loved Punky Brewster. I loved, um, what was the one? Oh, Silver Spoons. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Snorklers, Fraggle Rocks. Um, I don't know if you guys remember Mask, the cartoon Mask. Those were like my jams. Sonic is all dual or triple, Dave. There's no individual autographs in Sonic. It's all dual or triple. No way, do they really, Dave? Oh my goodness, Darkwing Duck, yes. And then what's the one with the bear and he flies a plane for cargo? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. He, he, uh, it's a bear and he flies cargo. Oh my God, what was the name of it? I was on the show, cops. Tailspin! Yes! Thank you, Tailspin. Tailspin, yes. That was one of my favorites. Yeah, I was on the show, Cops. They they rode with me for uh, two weeks. Such a pain in the butt, dude. Such a pain in the butt having them with you. Wait, you buried the lead, Justin? I don't know what that means. I wasn't a big pinky in the brain guy. I wasn't a big Ren and Stimpy guy either. <laughs> Joe mentions uh, Ren and Stimpy. Yeah, I wasn't a big Ren and Stimpy guy. There's a green Carew going to the Twins. Rookie on the Sant Santillian. Tony was making fun of me today. We spoke on the phone on. He's like, you really need to learn how to pronounce last names. I was like, dude, I'm a gringo. Like, we don't roll our tongues and have all that. We're not freaking good with our tongues like that, dude. He is laughing. Oh, CJ Abrams green. That is 70 out of 99 going to the Nats. Nice hit, man. This has been a nice case so far. A one of one. We're getting some big rookie color. Sammy Sosa gold auto. This has been a really nice case so far. Tons of rookies in this, too. I don't ever remember sleeving up this many rookies for the other cases. Speaking of which, Stott, rookie uh, image variation, Regal. Please call green cards beans from now on. 
<laughs> okay, beans. All right, we have grape. There's a nice thought on the refractor. Ken Griffey Jr. All right, we one, two, three, four. There's eight to go. How many was in here? Twelve. So I mean, we're doing pretty good so far. And again, you should see the stack of rookie cards sleeved up over here already. Um, which episode? I don't know. I'd have to look for it. Like, I don't, I'll give you my agency name offline and just you two, my agency. All right, coffee time. Ambiguously. Kevin used a school word. I know that's not true because cops doesn't come on till 3 p.m. Oh, this was my pickup of the week. Uh, I highly disagree with that. Uh, I'm gonna just call you Elk because I don't know that anime or how to pronounce that anime character's name. And so I'm gonna call you Elk, but definitely not Elk at all. Oh yeah, it comes on at four. Rick and Morty is absolutely, yeah, I bought it off of uh, eBay. I bought it off eBay. Rick and Morty is a thousand times better than South Park. Yeah, so when they film with you, I had a cameraman and a boom mic guy. And so the cameraman rides in the front seat. The boom uh, mic guy sits in the back seat. Now, how it works is we're just cruising around. We're patrolling. He has his camera on his lap. We're doing traffic stops. We're being very proactive. We're hoping for some action. Um, one thing that they that show loves is responding to calls, though. They prefer you responding to a call um, more than anything else because is what they want is a storyline, right? So a lot of my cool stuff, like foot pursuits and this and that, like they weren't able to use because he's like, we can't really build a storyline for this because, you know, we're stopping so many cars and only half the time is he starting the camera to film it. And then of course the time he doesn't start the camera, you know, the car, here comes a gold right away. <laughs> nice gold, Cincinnati, Arcs, golly, why do I keep saying Cincinnati? Minnesota Twins, Joe Ryan, another great rookie parallel gold on that one. Um, Altuve out of 199. Hold on, I feel like this thing's so loaded, it's like I can't even get a sentence in. Um, yeah, let me, let me, I'll finish talking about it after I go through this stack. I just don't want to miss something. I don't want to miss something yummy. Let's see. Otani, Donaldson. Come on. I see another gold coming up. Wow, a lot of color in this case. Oh, Eddie Murray gold. That is 23 to 50 going to the O's. All right, so there we go. So, um... 
they want a storyline. So a lot of the times, like on my traffic stops where the dude would freaking slam the car and park and take off running and foot pursuit, catch him. He has drugs and a gun on him and he resisted arrest and there was use of force. And I was like, dude, how was that, man? Like, that must have been amazing. He's like, nah, can't use it. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, I didn't get the traffic, uh, the traffic stop part. So there's no storyline. So they really want you responsible. Responding to calls and being one of the first on scene and um, so you haul butt over there you get to the scene you handle that uh, you don't take any of the paperwork when cops is riding with you like that you know your supervisor knows that already like all paperwork goes to someone else so you just go there and act like you're handling the call but you're actually not handling the call and you're actually not investigating it <laughs> But you are handling it and you're getting the information, but you're passing it to another officer to do the reports and the investigation at the end of it. Now that that let's say now that call is complete, you have to the person cannot be intoxicated and um, they have to sign a, a consent of release or whatever so that they can air it on TV. And a lot of times people refuse to sign that. And um and then is what you do. So now the now the call is closed. You, you completed the call. Um, they signed the consent. Now you're just going to aimlessly drive around and pretend you are responding to that call. So you're going to drive around. Remember, the call's over already. The, the whole thing's over. But now you're going to just drive around aimlessly and you're like, hey... Uh, we just got a call of a uh, burglary in progress. We're heading to 203, you know, North Seacrest and response to a suspicious person entering a home, blah, you know, whatever. And you like just do all this talking and stuff. And, um, and then now when they go to editing, they put that as the beginning of your call and then they splice in when you actually are doing the call so that's like how it would go you guys aren't even talking about it anymore <laughs> you guys are like tell this guy to shut up but anyways that's what it is and uh also when the show cops is riding with you they uh and like i said they rode with me for two weeks um all my lunches were free so they paid for all my lunches that was it. That was the only monetary gain out of having the show cost ride on me. Was they paid for my meals. Dave puts lame. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can get another parallel rookie. We really need some J-Rod action up there to, and uh, some O'Neill Cruz. But we already have a great pirate up there. We have a Wander and Abrams. Let's get some Bobby and um, J-Rod now. There's a Royce Lewis image variation. Gavin Sheets. Ramos. Melendez on the refractor. We do have blue coming. Oh, I forgot the name is on the top on these cards. This dude is a journalist and a comedian. So congratulations there. Rivera, Emmanuel Rivera. Rookie Refractor. Ramos going to the Giants on the rookie image variation. Josh Lowe, who did really good this spring training, and I'm glad to see that. O'Neill, Freddie Freeman. Hayes. Dave Winfield. There's a Cruz, but it is nothing paralleled. We are still chasing a parallel of Cruz, Julio, and Bobby. I didn't know you were a cop and I don't have any warrants. 
I wouldn't even bother checking. Lindsay Melendez is very good. Uh, again, unfortunately, bat, uh, catchers just don't get a whole lot of love. But he is a great ball player. And then you have Adley Rutschman and uh, Kyle Riley kind of outperforming him statistically. You're ready to dump your cruise cards? Let me know. I'm a buyer. <laughs> if they're autoed or, or 25 or less, I'm a buyer. Brandon, there's been a couple, one or two J-Rod base, but we have a long way to go. A very long way to go. Take your sips. Take your sips. But yeah, a lot of fun product coming up. We've been selling out lately. Which makes me very happy and hopeful. Tomorrow we do have um, a three caser. T pick your team. Three caser of um, Topps Gold Label. Pick your team. It is on eBay. So you would have to bid on it on eBay. But that does break tomorrow night. Three cases of Topps Gold Label. So even if you're not in the break, come welcome the newcomers You know, from eBay watching on our channel. Um, have a good time. Let's see if we can hit any, any gold nuggets. Uh, so that does break tomorrow night. If I have more, if some of my product that I've ordered gets in tomorrow during the day, then I will post that for a Facebook break. If not, then that, um, three caser will be our only, only break for tomorrow. But again, you guys can get into it. Just jump on eBay and, and bid on it. And uh, I bet you some of those are gonna, some of those teams are probably gonna go for dirt cheap. I mean, you could probably steal some of those teams for less than it would have been if it was a three case pick your team and I posted it on Facebook. So, oh, nice. And then, yeah, and then Sunday we have a two caser of tops gold label and then monday we have a full case of tops chrome black all three of those are on ebay right now you break any cases of beer i don't drink beer i do not drink beer i am a uh spirits kind of guy i'm a whiskey bourbon guy there's a nice one, Stephen Kwan, going to the Guardians on the rookie image variation. Blue for the Mariners, Kyle Riley. So another top rookie parallel. Like to see those, Ramos for the Giants. Shane Boz for the Rays. Hunter Green for the Reds. There's a nice Julio. There you go. Julio Rodriguez image variation. Very nice Julio. Robert Contreras. The Hawk and Pedro Martinez. So I don't know if you guys got a good look at this one. This is going to the Astros. Lance McCullers. So we did hit a pretty nice J-Rod. It is a rookie image variation on the mini card. I don't know how much those go for. I, I gave all of mine away in giveaways. I, I never even looked it up on eBay, but I'm thinking 20 bucks, maybe even 30, 40 bucks. I don't know.
Oh, nice, Brent. Can we somehow... We might have to start double decking soon. Cal Riley really should be up there too. So we are going, we're going to start a double deck after this box. We still have the other half of this box to go. Okay. I'll take it, Brandon says. Yeah, man. It's a sweet looking card. The cruelness to me tonight is over the top, Dave is exclaiming. What do you all do for a living, Brandon wants to know. Nothing is harder for me than I'm in a social environment with people I do not know and they in front of other people ask me, what do you do for a living? So usually I just say I'm a retired police officer who did good in the stock market <laughs> because that's that is the truth. But I do leave out uh, I, I'm a breaker because as soon as you say I'm a breaker, they're like, what do you mean a breaker? I'm like, well, I open baseball cards on YouTube. Oh, like you do videos about baseball cards? Not really. I sell them. You sell them on YouTube? Well, no, I have a Facebook like, so I just don't even go there. It's a mess. Retired and I play on the stock market. Crawford. Going to the Giants, 32 out of 99. Kalanick, Ichiro, Mullins, Matt Manny, rookie for Detroit. Jaron Duran for the Boston Red Sox. Bryson Stott going to the Phillies. Oh, we have an orange coming up. And then behind the orange is a green mini. Man, there's a lot of color in this case. And this is my final case of this product. I do not plan on ordering any more of it. I feel like we have seen the best of it. The green is going to be a B real. And here is our orange. It is, oh, I can't go that way, I forgot. Where's the rookie emblem? Bottom right, all right. It's going to New York. I do not see a rookie emblem. It is, oh, it's, oh, it says Brooklyn, New York under it, but they all do. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, Brandon Lau, five out of 25 going to the Rays. Probably one of the best second basemen out there. If you look up Brandon Low or Lau, I don't know, probably potato, po potato, potato on the low Lau, but. I've always called him Brandon Lau and Josh Lowe. I don't know. It's just how I do it. But if you look up his numbers, he's probably one of the best second basemen in baseball, statistically. Holy cow, Daniel. Jeez, that's complicated. Exactly, Bill. I don't even go there, dude. I, I don't even go there. Like, it's the worst already with people I can't avoid kind of answering it, like family members and close friends, you know, where you can't just be like, I'm retired, where you have to give an explanation. And it literally takes 20 minutes to, and they still don't get it, but they're just tired of hearing me talk, trying to explain it. So they're like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I get it. They don't get it.
but I do love the market. I do love it. It's kind of been dry. There's been some volatility lately, but nothing I'm willing to jump into just yet. I, I have a feeling we haven't seen the bottom. I have a feeling we have not seen the bottom. Crypto jumped up uh, real high because the banks were failing. So crypto, you know, is is the solution to banks. So crypto jumped up because of that. Oh, Daniel, isn't that the same way they do, uh, what's it called, like a heart catheterization? When they need to check the arteries going to the hearts and they do it like a heart catheter... Heart? I said it the first time correctly, now I can't say it. Catheterization? Is it that same procedure? You have XRP? How do you even have XRP? You need to have like a, a VPN to purchase XRP. You must have bought it when it was still legal to buy <laughs> in the US. is hard to open could that be lucky yeah cardiac catheterization yeah and I think they have to do that to you while you're conscious right do I like Marino I really like Gabriel Marino I have two of his cards at PSA right now. Oh, nice, dude. That's the way to do it. So here's a funny, well, not funny. Here's a, I'm going to tell you guys an interesting story about cryptocurrency. So when I moved to this neighborhood, it's a pretty upscale neighborhood. And, um... I met a dude here. We his name was Junior. We all called him Junior. And he and his driveway was like a bunch of Ferraris and Lamborghinis, like literally like 7 million dollars in cars in his driveway and also um he had a $60,000 custom G G-Wagon golf cart um you know, just decked out, man. Like what you would see in a rap video. MJ Melendez is what his house looked like. Like the driveway. So anyways, um, we get to talking one day. And I find out that he's into crypto. And that he made his millions of dollars. Um, and he bought Bitcoin when he was in college for like 8 cents. Or Oh, here comes the case hit. We'll do that. Just a second. Uh, is this on camera? No, it's not. All right, let's do it now. All right, case hit X Fractor. Is it a rookie? Okay, it is not a rookie. It is <laughs> Blackmon going to the Rockies. I was not expecting him. I haven't seen him this whole product, I feel like. Man, imagine if that would have been J-Rod. As soon as I see no rookie logo, I'm like, what? So anyways, um, we exchange phone numbers. I, I've never, there's a Wander Franco. Uh, we exchange phone numbers. Seems like a nice enough guy. I've never been in his house though. O'Neill Cruz on the image variation for the Pirates. And um, yeah, so he made his millions in crypto. 
and one day Matt Seidman, Magic Matt, is at my house. Hey, what's up, Ivan? Magic Matt is at my house. And we're ripping cases of cards, and he goes, Oh, poop, Verling, rookie, Phillies. Oh, poop. Um, I forgot my devil's lettuce. And you remember, I don't do devil's lettuce. So he was like, dude, I forgot my devil's lettuce, and I would love to, to eat some of that devil lettuce or smoke it or whatever uh, while we ripped it, you know, before we ripped the cases. Do you know, buddy, do you know anyone up here? And I was like, the only guy that I could tell that does it that I would even have the guts to ask is this dude Junior. Um, because every time I did see him, you know, he did appear to be... He did appear to be a consumer of the devil's lettuce. And um, so I text... I called Junior. He doesn't answer the phone. I promise the story's getting somewhere. I called Junior... He doesn't answer his phone. He texts me, what's up? I'm busy. And I was like, well, it's something I don't want to text you about. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want like, you know, a transcript of me asking for like, you know, devil's lettuce. So he calls me and he goes, what's up, Jay? And I'm like, hey, this is what's going on. My buddy's here. We're opening cards. He forgot his lettuce. He's wondering if you have any lettuce, you know, but I'm using other words. Um, I, this is so awkward, you know, but he asked me to ask, so I'm asking. And he said, I'm actually at the airport uh, heading to Brazil. He was Brazilian, by the way. He goes, I'm actually at the airport heading to Brazil. I was like, oh, okay, cool, man. Have a great trip. I'll see you when you get back. And he's like, all right, cool. I'll see you when I get back. And um, the very next day, on the news, I find out that Junior fled from police, federal uh, agents, not police, fled from federal agents to Brazil because he got caught in some um, large cryptocurrency fraud. So literally when he called me to tell me he's at the airport going to Brazil... I was probably the last person, and, and is what happened since I text him, it's something I can't say over text. He probably thought like, oh, he's going to tell me the feds are at my house or, you know, something like that. He's He has information on that or something he was probably thinking. And that's why even though he was on the run, he still called me because he thought I would have some some information or something for him. <laughs> So, yeah, he's still wanted. You can look him up. Just put, like, Junior and Google. Put, like, Junior Crypto Fraud, and you can read all about it. But, yeah, that was my neighbor. Oh, that was a long story, but hopefully it entertained you. I wanted to send Matt something as a thank you for the spot he bought me. Couldn't think of anything he want, would want, but I'm thinking a nice long I don't, I've never seen him use a, uh, one of those. I don't think he uses those. Moore, who is a explorer. Daddy Sheen, Nick Allen rookie. And, ooh, we have a blue rookie coming up. Colton Welker. I thought Welker used to be on the Rockies. This is Giants. Anyways, I know that was a long story, but it was just, I don't know. We talked about crypto. I thought it was funny. Like just how it all went down. CJ Abrams. Richie Palicios. Larkin. Mr. Albert. Seth Beer and Munson. Oh, you looked it up? Yeah. Yep, that was my neighbor. Look, let me see. Actually, you know what? Let's have some show and tell. Hold on, let me see. Um... 
He loved B and B and B. So look, here's some of our text messages right here. So this was us talking about crypto. I put NASDAQ as way down, but it's not pulling BTC down. That's very good news. He put, yes, bro, I'm a little be scared. Remember, he's from Brazil. He had $20 million on BNB, Binance coin. So let's get to... Uh... Look, this is it right here. This was the text. So look, hey, bro, sorry missed your call. I'm in a meeting. What up? Call me after. Don't want to text it. Laugh out loud. Let me call now, he put. How funny. There it is. That's the actual text from me and him. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, he was. Ooh, he was loaded. He would tell me he had like um, a $1.1 million Ferrari. He had a couple of them. I could show you pictures of me sitting in his cars. And he was super nice. He was like, Jay, you know, in his broken English, he was like, anytime you want to take one of my cars, just take it. Just take it. You know, it's no problem. You want to go take it for the week, whatever, take your wife out. Like, I was like, if he would have had like a Lamborghini Huracan, you know, like a $250,000 car, I probably would have done it. But all of his were like $500,000 and up cars. Who was that woman who scammed everyone in crypto and hasn't been caught? Oh, I don't know. What's up, Mikey? Mikey snuck in here. Mikey, did you ever meet Junior? I know you. I've taken you to his house just to so, show you all his cool stuff, like his cars and all that, but did you ever meet him? No, oh, okay. Dude, do not call me Goober. Okay, I feel like calling someone Goober is like calling someone Buddy. I hate when people call me Buddy. I cannot stand it. I'm a 41 year old grown man. Don't call me Buddy. And definitely don't call me Goober. <laughs> I remember his driveway though. Yeah, he had an impressive driveway. It looked like, uh, it literally looked like MTV's, the show MTV Cribs. I don't mind boss. Jorge Rivera t to this day calls me boss. I don't mind boss. I don't mind chief. I just can't do buddy, man. I, I feel like it's almost condescending. Like, <laughs> buddy? What am I, like your freaking 12 year old neighbor? Hey, buddy. Freaking Goober. Gavin Sheets. MJ Melendez. I forget his name, but this dude, I think Dave or someone looked him up. Well, J Day, I can't pronounce his name, I guess I should say. Not that I forgot it. I'm literally looking at it, Judge. Um, but I guess he's doing really well. 
McGuire, the Big Mac. Josh Lowe, rookie. Emmanuel Rivera. Friedel. Derek Jeter. Looking really young there. Duran, but the uh, pitcher Duran. Is he a pitcher? I'm pretty sure he's a pitcher. Freddie Freeman, Tatis going to the Padres, Kirby Puckett, Harper, Shane Bieber on the green to 99. That is 76 out of 99. And Brandon Marsh. Sport. Dude, yeah. D Who's calling you guys sport and kiddo, though? Tiger? Yeah, but dude, I feel like those are not terms used to address an adult. I mean, buddy shouldn't be, but for some reason it does happen. But, dude, I've never had an adult call me sport or tiger. <laughs> Can you imagine another adult calling another adult tiger? Like, hey, you want to have lunch tomorrow at 2 p.m.? You got it, tiger. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't even cancel the lunch. I would just make you go there and I would no-show it. Let's go, sport. Oh my gosh, yeah. You might as well told me to F off or something. Like some... If you call me sport, that's... To me, that's a bad word. Like that's like an F-bomb or something like... If you call me sport, you better be able to beat me up. <laughs> you better be able to beat me up. You know, Jorge Rivera could call me sport, no problem. He could call me anything he wants. But if I know, you know, men are weird. Men are, we're weird creatures. You know, like most men, when you meet another man, like one of the first thoughts in your head is like, yeah, I could beat this guy up. You know, like, oh, bless his heart. Yes. Sport does mean bless his heart. So, like, if I meet a man, you know, you're kind of like, all right, if the poop hits the fan, is this someone I could count on? You know, maybe not whether you could beat him up or not, but, you know, you're definitely judging, is this someone I could count on if, you know, there's an active shooter situation right now or something like that. Remember, I've been in the Army or a cop since 18. So those are the things that go through my head. And, dude, if I meet you and you do not look like you're going to be on my roll call if the poop hits the fan, you better not address me as any of those things. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's so true, Dave. You'll be all right, sport. It's just it's just a cold sport. Austin Meadows. Shane Boz. All right, we were doing really well. We need to heat things up again. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Red, I think. That's either red or orange, and I promise to God I did not see that before saying that. Oh my goodness, please be a rookie. I'm pretty sure that's red. Please have an emblem. It doesn't. All right, we'll do it in a, well, we do it now. Here we go, red. Uh, well, nice for Edward with the weirdo spot. And that is red. That is four out of five. Red. For a comedian. So nice hit going to Edward. Not quite the rookie we were looking for. Gabriel Arias rookie. 
Alec Thomas on the rookie image variation. Anthony Rizzo. Whoop, you go here, buddy. Molina. That is 78 out of 199. And Clement for the Guardians rookie card. All right, hopefully the next couple heat it back up. Again, I think as of right now, it's been a pretty decent case. Um, has not been that bad. I mean, we did it a super fractor. We have Wander, Abrams, Manning, Sosa, Yepes, all uh, paralleled. We have Kyle Riley here, blue. We have Julio Rodriguez and Wander image variation rookies. So it's not a bad case, especially if we can hit one or two more decent rookie cards. Definitely not a bad case at all. I'm trying to read chat now while doing this. Yeah, Mikey is, he's tired. He called me today. He FaceTimed me yesterday. You can literally see his face melting from lack of sleep. <laughs> lack of sleep. Hey, we all paid that price, Mikey. Now it's your turn. Now you're gonna appreciate how awesome of a dad you have. Man, so I told a long story about cops, long story about crypto. Should I tell you guys a story about how there's a movie with someone that plays my part? Or save that for the three caser. Or that I was in Playboy, true story. Save that for the three caser, right? <laughs> All right. Hopefully we, again, I'll be happy if we can hit two more good rookie cards. Big or little. Two more rookies paralleled in one capacity or another. No, no, it's it's not that kind of movie. <laughs> no, Tommy Lee Jones is in it, actually. I'll save it for another stream. I can't... I gotta keep some mysteriousness about me and slowly feed it to you guys. Can't give it all up on the first date. Yeah, I've had a, for 41 years old, I have had a very interesting, uh, exciting and adventurous life, but that's also probably why I am so tired. <laughs> all right, Bob is shed out of 199. That's 151 out of 199. Otani, Torres, Tom, Reynolds, Fierro, Fernandez, Moore. I do see a green popping up back there. Any other color? Nope, it looks like just that green back there. Hanger, Brett, Baez, Martinez, Jameson on the green, weirdo spot. Man, 
Hopefully the second side of this box is better. There's an O'Neill Cruz rookie. We'll definitely take that. Otani Refractor. Alright, green rookie. Okay. Oh, and there's a Hunter Green uh, image variation and Christian Yelich. Alright, here we go. Green rookie. Good luck, everyone. Seth Beer. Okay. Tier 2 rookie. Not bad. Has a great bat. Tier 2. You know, a... Uh, uh, a uh, uh, tier two rookie who with a little work could be maybe one of these days a tier one rookie that is 51 out of 99 not quite gonna make the stand especially when we're aiming for two tier one color rookies so not Quite almost. If he would have been gold or something, definitely would have made the stand. You know what? Uh, I just realized, yeah. Normally I sleeve all the base rookies at the end. I've been doing it live. I will go back to doing that at the end. I feel like that has been eating up a lot of time. Allen and Genther is a longer rip than most just because it's so many packs, but I'm trying to be a little more efficient than I am. For you guys, trust me, I love hanging out here. <laughs> But I get that maybe some people might not want to hang out so long. All right, we do have some parallels coming up. No one has said anything to me. Mike Trout on the mini. But, I don't know, Hoskins. I don't know why I feel compelled to, like, sh make sure we see his card now that he's injured. Oh, here's a rookie, Vidal Brujan, going to the Rays. All right, hey, Tier 2 rookie. Numbered, I'll take it. Clemente. Spencer Torkelson on the image variation mini. And we did hit an orange. <laughs> it's that dude that I cannot pronounce his name. Killy Brew. Kill Killy Brew. 19 out of 25. Harmon K we'll call him. Donovan. O'Neill Cruz Refractor Rookie. That's a good one. And Ivan Rodriguez. Yeah, that's not a great picture of Vidal. It really isn't. All right, so I'll only deal with the Refractor Rookies immediately. And the numbered stuff immediately. So this stuff, I'll put it in a sleeve pile. I know Ed wants me to definitely take care of his Spencer right away though. And I will absolutely oblige. Man, I mean, out of that one box, there's a lot of color. You don't really see it until it's time to sleeve all the color up. All right, three boxes to go. Still looking for two, two big cards. Two big cards will make me happy. I mean, trust me, the more the merrier. But let's shoot for at least two. Let's put a number in the universe. Hopefully it can match or excel, but let's give at least the universe something to start with. I don't know if you guys have ever watched that documentary, The Secret, but I super believe in that stuff, man. I really do.
my pal. All right, there we go. Come on, let's see. All right, so these are just base rookie other than the refractor or Otani. Those will get sleeved at the end of the stream. That's like a pitch clock <laughs> for me. You hate the secret? Dude, I thought it, the secret was awesome. Got whooped today by the Diamondbacks. I thought the secret was, was I, I didn't read it. I watched the documentary. I watched it a long time ago. So I forget a lot of it, but is what I took from it was what you put in the universe, you know, is kind of what you get back. So I don't know. I believe in that. It's worked well for me at least. All right, Sandra, I will see you tomorrow. Take it easy. Let's put it in the universe. Put it in the universe, baby. Why do you think when people are like, come on, let's go, you know, wander or torque or whoever. Why do you think uh, people speak it into reality? You know, everyone calls it coincidence. Man, there's a lot of coincidences then. Good night, Sandra. See you tomorrow. I hope tomorrow is better. I Honestly, I didn't see what happened, but I saw someone else say that. So whatever you're going through, I hope uh, when you wake up tomorrow, it is uh, no longer at the front of what's going on. Suzuki, Shane Boz, a worm. Suzuki Refractor, so that's something that we'll get dealt with immediately. Gabriel on the mini. Pickle! We got the pickle. Emmanuel Rivera. Bogart. Melendez. Cron for the Rockies. Sheen. I should never mind. I'm not gonna say I'm not I'm not gonna make any Sheen jokes. Some dude with a big beard. Or big mustache. I'm gonna say mu musician, yep. Again, I don't I don't know who that is, but there's a green green card of his. Did someone say green lettuce? Matt, I told the, the story about when I text Junior looking for green lettuce for you. The time Matt almost got me caught up in a federal <laughs> investigation. <laughs> And I didn't even know it. Can you smoke a pickle? You could smoke a uh, my pickle. Who's Junior? Yeah, I don't blame you. Exactly. All 
All right, we need two more big rookies. Come on. I am super looking forward to that three case here tomorrow. When you start dealing with multi-case breaks, man, that's that's when you can really see some nasty stuff. Obviously, it just, you know, because of the odds increased, but... Yeah, y'all getting better, but I remember us. Oh, you guys are talking football. Matt, are you still coming back this weekend? All right, good luck. Here we go. We have a rookie, Nick Lodolo, blue to 150. That is 149 out of 150. Ichiro. Lazardo, Matt Manning, Duran. Uh, JJ, I'm just going to call him JJ Refractor. So that will get sleeved. Bryson Stott. Mookie Betts, Cabrera, Riggle, Robinson, Aaron, Piazza, Rizzo, Seiya Suzuki on the rookie image variation, Jonathan India out of 199, Josiah Gray, man a lot of rookies in this. I opened the case of this for myself the other day and man it did not have this many rookies. Anyone selling any big cards? I'm always in the market. I could trade break credit, Zelle, PayPal. Any big cards. Numbered autograph rookie cards specifically. The usual suspects, you know, a top rookie numbered auto, preferably graded, but I will look at not graded or ungraded. But if anyone's looking to move cards, I am always looking to purchase. I never really, I don't think I've said that out loud. But. Are you still pooping? What are you talking about, dude? I have Ben Baller Franco Diamond Cut 1 out of 5 red, but can't find comps on the out of 5. Just Is it auto dead? If it's auto, I'd be interested in it. One one Jim Thome from twenty two thousand four. Yeah. Did I? I didn't even know we spoke today, dude. What are you talking about? I called you right. Uh, you texted me right before the break, and I called you. And I said, "Do you want the Royals?" And you said, "I'm not into Allen and Genter. No, thank you." And I was not pooping. That was like three days ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem, Matt. I'll do that after after this break. Dude, Matt is notorious for calling me. Matt is notorious for calling me 
when I'm using right, like literally about to sit down to use the restroom, just sat down to eight or jumping in the shower. We have gold coming, Josiah Gray, Donaldson. Let's, oh, yeah, yeah. It is going to add on the Murphy Gold. That is zero six out of 50. So they took our gold. Oh, there's a Brandon Lau going to the Tampa Bay Rays on the gold mini. Yelich, Refractor, Lindor, Ramos. Ramirez, Otani, we'll get that squared away. Snyder, get out of that razor. Contreras, what is that? Cronenworth, Big Mac, Shane Boz, and Bobo. Uh, dude, so <laughs> I have a story about Carrot Top. Well, not a story, but I used to see him all the time. Uh, when I was a cop, one of our areas uh, was along the beach. And Carrot Top lived, uh, lived there, obviously, on the water. And, uh, yeah, I'd see him jogging all the time. He'd always wave at me. Super, he seemed really nice, pretty pro-law enforcement. I never like one thing I never done. I've never like asked a, anyone to take their picture with them or anything. But I, I bet you if I would have, he would have had no problem with it. But yeah, I would see Carrot Top all the time. All right, one and a half boxes left. Can we do it? Can Ed stop taking all the numbered stuff for his weirdo cards? We would appreciate that, Ed, if your weirdo cards would instead allow the numbered stuff to head over to the rookies. And I know there's a lot of Shohei Otani fans out there, so I will put him in a hard top right now. Brandon, um, actually, I might be. His stock is going down, though, Brandon. But, yes, send me a picture. I would be interested in that. I would have to look at his centering. You know I'm a PSA 10 brat. So, if it looks like it's in good shape and you think it's in good shape and it's worth submitting, I would be interested in that. The number of TikToks I see with people on the toilet is disturbing. Well, why is that on your for you for you page? That's not I've never seen that. Spend a hundred dollars but sell a ten dollar card on eBay when life out loud. I have a red Frank Thomas 88 auto from 2023 series one, 12 out of 25 for 150, man. That's a great price. Listen, if you guys have nice, you, you guys see the type of stuff I put together. If you guys have stuff similar to that and you want me to sell it on here, not auction style, fixed price stacks or binders. I will gladly do that again. You know, you guys see the type of stuff I have. You know, it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be crazy. You know, but just, you know, you guys, you guys see how I put it together. If you guys have that and want to contact me about putting it here to sell out, MJ Melendez, we could definitely do that Suzuki, MJ Melendez. O'Neill Cruz, image variation. 
JJ again. Kane, uh, 133 out of 150 on Lorenzo Kane. That is a good way to move cards. Again, you're not going to get top dollar for it that way, but you're going to move a lot of cards and you're going to move them all in one day. So that's the trade off. That is the trade off. I'll do um, auctions eventually. I need to get the delay down. I need to figure out how to get the delay down. Maybe for auctions, um, obviously I wouldn't need the second camera and I wouldn't need to go to the randomizer screen. So for auctions, I'll probably just go straight YouTube like straight live from YouTube which um, does cut cut it back to literally I think two seconds me and uh, Joe were messing with that so maybe I could do auctions like that but for now let's just focus on fixed price you know you could do ten dollar stacks twenty dollar stacks thirty you know whatever put them together um, and you know you want to build a good reputation for yourself especially if you're someone that plans on being in the hobby for more than a couple of months you know that way like me with eric like anytime i wanted to move cards it was easy i had a good reputation people got good value for the cards you know so pretty much anytime i would post on there not pretty much it would always sell out you know so you you want to put a good reputation that way as you you continue to accumulate cards you have a way to get rid of them. So I would love to help you guys with that as someone that's been in a lot of breaks and continues to be in a lot of breaks. Um, that Man, having that, knowing in the back of your head, okay, it's all good. If I want to dump a bunch of cards, I can. So I am at your disposal. Again, all I ask, you know, put them in stacks, put them, put like 20, 10, whatever. You guys see how I do it. And if you guys want to do it, hit me up and we will do it. And I will do it on the low, low for very cheap, like 10%. You know, 10% for now. Once I get big, maybe I'll bump it up a little bit. <laughs> but just 10% now, be transparent, say it out on the open. So if you have a thousand dollars worth of cards that you're selling and you price it out for a thousand bucks, um, obviously I would only get a hundred bucks out of that. You know, you would get nine hundred, and then obviously we would have to charge for shipping because it's not my product and I'm not making any real money off of it. Um, you know, so. I would have to ask that the purchasers do include shipping on that. But I mean, hey, again, man, it saved me. I, I've been able to recoup literally probably fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars between auctions and mystery boxes. The best thing is you guys know my cards. If you think you have stuff similar, and again, it doesn't have to be crazy. It could be some Allen and Ginter base rookies with some Allen and Ginter veterans, you know, the better veterans, and then a couple of numbered cards, you know, uh, with, you know, with a weak auto in it for 10 bucks or something like that. It might be worth it, you know. Um, so if, if you're interested, just send me a message and I'll work I'll work with you. To, to, I want to help you guys get money back from cards sitting in binders or in boxes that you don't that you don't do anything with. We have another gold coming up. Wow. This has been a very colorful case. Not a rookie Bellinger for the Dodgers. There's another Julio Rodriguez rookie, Griffey. Did I just open the whole box? I did, right? There's no more packs. Yeah, this is it. Well, I have that stack there too. Yeah, I guess I ripped the whole box while I was talking. 
Hunter Green on the image variation. Darvish, Martinez, Nolan Ryan, Josiah Gray. Yeah, let me get through this stuff. Another Spencer Torkelson image variation. I know my boy Ed is happy with that. Let me also know what you guys think about this pace, this new pace where I'm not reading off every single last name, only the ones worth it. Um, let me know if this pace is a little better for you guys, where we still chill, talk, tell stories, have a good time, but you also don't have to hear in the out of your speakers the name of every single baseball player as we go through it. So I wanted to try this out. I feel like this is a really nice pace. Another gold Cedric Mullins. So a lot of gold in this case, we're just not getting it on the right people. Although some will argue that Cedric is having a come up year. That is a Gavin Sheets rookie, Cabrera. Brandon Marsh rookie, Gabriel Arias rookies. Definitely loaded with colors and rookies. Just not colored rookies. Oh, actually, that's not true. We got some good ones. Wainwright. All right, here we go. This is the end of it. Juan Soto. That is 113 out of 199. And Bryant. And that is the case. And I'll be honest, I'm not mad at this case. This case um, did not bother me. And we'll do a quick recap, and you folks can let me know what you think about it. But I am not mad at this case. Let me just square this stuff away. I'll read comments. No, I'm the same way, Ed. I love hanging out, man. Dude, nothing is worse. This is this is my quick opinion, right? Look, I'm gonna let me get this. To let me uh more hits next case dude there was a lot of good hits there was a lot of good hits let me show you this gold Cedric Mullen what's up 10 bucks 10 bucks that was my funny like pretending it's a okay never mind hold on let me show you what I don't like and one second, hold on. If I start talking about something else, I'll forget. So I'm not talking until I show you guys what I mean. Hold on. I don't know. There was a lot for me to sleeve and top load in this. We went through almost 200 sleeves, I can tell you that. And two and a half, over two and a half cases of uh, top loaders. Not cases, uh, two and a half boxes of top loaders. Actually, after I top load this, it'll probably be three boxes, which is what, 75 top loaders? Oh, more hits for me. Yeah. Dude, listen, I, I get it, man. Like, when I buy into breaks, unfortunately, I buy the Mariners and the Rays, which are always expensive. And I definitely hit less than everybody else, obviously, because I'm chasing the biggest names. But when you do hit, and it happens, you usually hit pretty nicely and enough to compensate for the last, you know, a couple other buy-ins you've been doing and missing, so... Even like Mizzy chasing Angels and Yankees. I mean, if he would have hit a Shohei, a Mike Trout, Aaron Judge, Derek Jeter, a Rivera, uh, you know, pretty much any auto he hits for the most part, unless it's Lewis Gill, is going to cover his last couple buy-ins. I don't know why I'm hard topping rookies now. Base rookies. All right, hold on. Let me show you what I just don't like. All right, and then we will recap. Hold on. All right. 
right, so this is what I don't like. And, and this is most breakers, so I'm not taking a stab at anyone specifically. The, these are even some of the breakers I like, right? So they, they super rip everything. And again, this is every breaker I know. I am not specifically talking about anybody. But here's what happens, especially like I spent a lot of money last year and the year before that on breaks, okay? And I kind of look at a break as, hey, I'm going to have an hour or two of entertainment, you know, like not only is there going to be good talk and chat and this and that, but I'm going to have a beer. I'm going to eat some dinner. Well, not a beer, but a drink or two. Uh, when Justin comes over, we love doing that while watching a break, right? And then I feel like I'm being used almost. I feel dirty almost when I see this, right? All right. And, oh, we got a green parallel there. It is that guy. All right. All right. Nothing else in there. Uh, let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, you know, oh, okay, cool. Steve Verlander, we'll get him sleeved up. All right. Boom. You know, like, again, that is every breaker. So I'm not taking a stab at anybody or anyone specifically. But that is not my style and will never be that style. Man, especially if I didn't hit anything, you know, like, and the break is done in like 30 or 40 minutes and I didn't hit anything and it was like, a three to five hundred dollar buy-in for the spot that I was chasing. I literally felt like a garbage can at the end of the break. Like I got a problem. <laughs> you know, like I felt so used at the end of that break. Um you know, but at least like every now and then when you get the right person and they're personal and they're talking and there's con like, hey, you know what? I had a good time though. You know, so hopefully next time I hit something, but I had a good time. You know, and I'm and I'm networking, I'm selling cards at the same time, like, you know, so anyways, that's that's how I feel. So I'll never today it was about as fast as you'll ever see me go. I thought today was a pretty good pace. If I'm gonna tell a story, I'll stop, you know, I'll slow it down. Like I, I just wanna hang out, you know, I wanna have a good time. We're here to enjoy stuff. Oh, thank you, Kevin. is more lips oh you know what i'm talking about no no i love that guy if i think i know your reference dave and uh oh lip smacking do you mean like talking poop like talk like having fun banter awesome aaron thank you man Hi, Daniel. Get cutie, Daniel. Mi amor. That's what I'm going to start calling you, Daniel. Mi amor. Yo te quiero, Daniel. But anyways, yeah, like, I'm just not into that. So look, we'll do a quick recap. Not a horrible case. Not the best in the world. We did hit a super fractor. But, I mean, we have a lot of top-loaded stuff. Um, a lot of color in this case, a ton of color. Again, I just ripped a personal case of this for me and I did not hit anywhere. These are refractor rookies here. Um, I did not hit nearly as much color and rookies because I've been trying to build up stuff, um, so I can run, you know, the sales and auctions and I like making binders again. I, a lot of times I know it's at a loss, but I just enjoy the process. So I've been trying to restock on stuff and I opened the case of this and did not get nearly this much of uh, usable stuff. So, I mean, look at all this color, man. Tons of color in this case. That's a gold Eddie Murray. I mean, look at this gold Ryan. He probably, he should have been up there. Can't believe I didn't have him up there. Another Rodriguez, another gold. So tons of color there. And then uh, we had a lot of good rookies on the image variation, including J-Rod. We have, these are still sitting over here. I need to hard top these. I will do that later. 
And then up here we have Wander, Yepes, Sammy Sosa, Gold Autograph, Franco to 199, Matt Manning to 25, CJ Abrams to 99. And then, of course, our one of one Super Fractor heading to the Pirates with Castillo. So that is that. That is the break. That is the last of Allen and Genter. Um, I will probably have, unless those same top rookies in the 2022 class start doing amazing in 2023, then it might be worth getting back into. Allen and Genter is a fun rip. But there's other 2022 products I would rather buy more of than restock on Allen and Genter. Let me catch up on some of this chat real quick. Yeah, that's, I'm not going to do it where send me your mystery packs. You know, that's what I'm saying. That's why I made it clear. If you're interested in moving cards, um, thank, thank you, Brent. If you're interested in moving cards, I get it. I was in, I'm in those shoes. I'm in those shoes. As, I have to move cards to buy cards. Like, that's how this works. And if you are constantly in my breaks... I am going to offer you the opportunity to sell cards on my channel. Um, I, I'll tell you this. Um, yeah, I feel like we need to build, you, you need to build a reputation before you hit in, you hit straight away with mystery packs. But, um, you know, if, if you have, if you are interested in selling cards on this channel and you want to move a mass quantity of them, Send me a message and we will do it. So, oh yeah, we have to do the giveaways. So we will do it. So make sure if you are interested in moving quantity of cards, go ahead and shoot me a message. Um, I could FaceTime you or whatever it takes to put it together. Obviously, I'm not interested in your in junk wax. I don't even know about junk wax or 70s or 60s. I'm only good at modern cards. And, you know, if you have like a modern card collection you want to move, not collection, but you know what I mean, cards you want to move, I'm your guy. Trust me, I'm, I'm an expert at doing that. So, all right, let's do the giveaway. Thank you for reminding me, Joe. So we're giving away two of these 2022 Tops trading cards vending uh products each of those have five exclusive cards in it and then um we are also going to give away 100 dollars. yeah ultra modern 2018 and up 2018 and up <laughs> 2017 i guess and up so we're also going to give a, uh four people are going to get 20 five dollars so let's get the randomizer up one second yeah vintage i feel like has to be ran through dave definitely has to be ran through dave Yeah, Joe keeps me in check with the giveaways. Anyone into 90s? Just not the regular 90s you always see. Like majority is mid 90s to late 90s and early 2000s. So Aaron is asking you folks about that. Let me copy and paste the teams over there.
Yeah, I don't like mystery or vintage and mystery packs. But yeah, I want to have, listen, I, let's be real. I freaking brought the high end mystery product to the streams to, you know, to the streams that all of us are into. And then I personally sat with Matt all day and made Magic Matt into mystery boxes, showed him how to do it. He still FaceTimes me when he does them. I FaceTime him when I do mine. Like, dude, we really brought, put those on the map. And I want to grow as a channel. That is something I started and that's something that I would like to bring to my channel. And if I can offer you know, you guys, that same joy of making some money back, you know, uh, from moving mass quantity of cards, then I'm definitely going to do it. So please reach out to me if you would like to do it again. I am going to be very picky just so you guys know, I am going to be picky. Like, like J Claus slash chasing breaks endorses this dude and his product. And we know it's going to rock and roll. So, um, but if you guys want to do that, hit me up. Here we go. Let's roll the die. I think it's so much fun, man. I, I loved it. I love doing the sale on this channel. Let's roll the dice. See how many times we randomize. Has to be a three or better. And it is a three. Oh, and we have to, I think, whose turn is it? Um, I don't know if it's Joe or Dave's turn. I want to say it's Joe. Um, but let me know. I, I believe it's Joe. But let me know if it's not, and Joe, we will do, or Dave will do your random right after this. So three times, sending you guys to the randomizer. Welcome to the randomizer. Here we are. I just literally copy and pasted from Facebook. So it should be, um, I think, 12 spots. Mariners, one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess to make it... Eh, it doesn't matter. I was going to delete like the teams and just have the names, but um, it doesn't really matter. It's all going to randomize just like that. So here we go. So the top four people are our four winners. And as we go down one through four, you're going to. Um, so first and second, third and fourth place all get twenty five dollar break credit or excuse me. Yeah, first, second, third, and fourth place all get $25 break credit. Fifth and sixth are going to get, each are going to get one of those boxes. So that's how it's going to go. Here we go. Three times. Good luck, everybody. One, two, and good luck, three. All right, so Edward, you get $25 break credit. Edward, you get another $25 break credit. Joe, you get $25 break credit. Joe paid full price for that spot too, guys. He did not get half off. He didn't get it for free. I promise you, I could show you on PayPal. Joe paid full price for that spot. So I will let him win um, as he rightfully should. And then Mizzy with a $25 um, break credit. And then fifth place, Michael Wheeler with the 2022 trading cards thing. And Ed with the 2022 tops vending box so those are our six winners right there congratulations to all of you ed one did really good he got 50 dollars in break credit and a and a box his second box actually his second one he won yet one yesterday too um so good job there mizzy glad to see you got a little back of your buy-in michael you got some of your buy-in back joe Joe's been on the luckiest streak I've seen in a while. I think he took some of Les's luck. So there you go. There's our six winners. So, um, Ed, if you want to do that, that's you. But I have you already written down for $50 break credit. It's, it's okay to win, man. It's okay to win. Use that $50 break credit. You'll be happy you have it uh, next break. Randomizer rigged. Dave is right. I was thinking about shield. Yeah, shield is good. I, I'm I'm open to anything on certain product. Um. Well, 
on certain product I just want to kind of probably pre-fill before I spend ten thousand dollars on it or something you know but Ed, keep it, man. You spend a lot, dude. You're going to have a nice little $50 break on your next buy-in. You're going to appreciate it. Keep it, dude. You've been in almost every break since we've since we've started this stream. It's all right to catch a break every now and then. But, um, yeah, so that's it. We have some fun product coming up. Um, I want to... I I really really love moving nice cards and I really want that to be part of our channel. Um again, maybe you have one card, right? Maybe you have one nice card you really want to move. You know, send me a nice picture of it. I want to have my own little thing, you know, like and then at the end of the stream, so we're not holding anybody hostage. At the end of the stream, I can I can have a photo album on my phone or I can have it in my emails and I create like a thing. And instead of sending you to the randomizer like this, it could be I go through the pictures of what you guys are selling at a set price. And again, you know, when you want to move something off of eBay, you remember, you can't really go retail. So I'm going to use fake numbers right so let's say you're like jay i have these two cards this one last sold on ebay for a thousand this one last sold on ebay for 200 you know maybe ask 800 for this card and ask you know 125 150 for this one for a quick easy move you know and i'll let people know like at the end of the stream i'm gonna show single cards that are available we'll say two $200 cards or, or higher and those are available and if you're interested I'll put I'll put you in touch with the buyer and I don't want any commission out of it I don't want any of that I just think that's a lot of fun and a great way to try and move some cards but I want I want to I'm gonna do something innovative to help us as a community freaking get rid of cards Ed is a good example Les is a good example Ryan Kevin Henry, like all these people, they're in my breaks constantly. Guess what, guys? They don't want every single card they're getting. There's people that hate the White Sox and they get the White Sox on a random and have some really great White Sox cards that other White Sox people might really enjoy. But they're sitting in this guy's 5,000 count box at home. You know, like if I can help them, one of the best things that happened to me buying into breaks being into baseball cards is unloading cards to continue to fund my habit and my entertainment of buying into breaks so hey if i can help my guys out like that and gals i'm doing it and we're gonna do it and if you again are interested in in doing that on here send me a private message i will tell you how i would set it up how i would price it i'll take the time out why you're probably not going to do it only once. So I will take the time out of my day to show you how to do it, how I would price it. Because guess what? Then you can do it on your own. Send it here. It'll be easy and everyone's happy. Macaroni cheesy. I give all my base away pretty much, Aaron, unless it's top rookies or rookie cards. Um, but to give you like an idea... So like I ripped that case of Allen and Ginter, all the veterans, every single one of them, Mike Trout, Otani's, everyone judge. Those are all going to Dave. He had asked if he can have them. So those are going there. Um, yeah, like so when I rip a case, I keep all the rookies. Rookies are great for binders. Um, and if and if it's like a hot, if it's like a top 10 veteran, you know, those are cool to mix in there, too um all parallel looking cards are good to have in a binder or in a stack um but yeah like you know like you know again just i'm like you don't want trevor story and uh uh wayne wright even though wayne wright's great harper's good to go strawman get rid of um again this is my opinion on selling stuff you know um 
a lot of these legends and stuff that's different those are good johnny bench of course but like george springer i wouldn't put in any of my binders um you know sean murphy i mean i know crawford's a, a stud maybe i don't know it, it would be up in the air for crawford but this is kind of a bad product to do it because this product everyone just chases the base out of this anyways to set build it but for flagship stuff and base heavy stuff like dude just get rid of the veterans jay do you have any small smoked cb stickers i have i do have them let me show you so i i ordered these and um these are really nice stickers. You guys have probably seen these on your boxes and binders. The problem is they're like too good quality. Like they're the legit vinyl stickers. So they're like a pain in the butt to kind of get off of this. And then this is a legit vinyl sticker. So um, you need like to do it correctly. You need to use, uh, you know, like one of those things to, to apply it. So I, I just ordered actually just legit stickers. Um, I'm going to start putting them in y'all's boxes and stuff. Macaroni cheesy. Never say that again. I'm begging you. <laughs> um, so there's like Julie, you know different people will reach out and they love playing with base cards but they have no value um but set builders love them and people that are you know they want to give it to their kids and different things like that you know so i donate all my base like so like right now is what i'm doing i'm going to show you this is exactly what i do so you remember, I've been opening a lot of boxes after stream, right? You know, for those that stay after stream, I open a lot of boxes for myself, right? Okay, I've been stacking all the stuff I don't want here. And I'm going to give it away to people. Like, there's people that want this stuff. And look, there's rookie cards in here. There's Bowman First Paper. You know, there's Bowman First Paper in here. There's, there's people that love this stuff. Some of these might even have little value, you know, but there's Chrome cards, Nick Lofton, um, Ivan Johnson first, you know, like there's first and rookies. Look, Sam Huff rookie card, Nate Pearson rookie. There's a, it's full of rookies, Tyler Stevenson, but it's paper. No one wants this in there. No one wants this where you're selling, where you're forcing them to buy it. Okay. That's a great way of saying it. Don't force people buying into a mystery product. You're, don't force them to buy this type of stuff. Don't put this type of stuff in your mystery product. That's not fair to the buyer. If you want to sell all of this, like, hey, I, I've been working on, you know, a bunch of, I have a bunch of base that has rookies, Bowman first, some good stuff in it. You want to give me 30 bucks for all of it? Like, that's fine. That's, that's completely legit. But don't force someone buying into your mystery product into buying the stuff that, you know, has very little value. Like all this 88, I have tons of 88. There's, this is all 2022 or 2023, I think. Yeah, this is 2023. There's rookies in here too. I didn't even go through it. So like there's rookies and veterans in here. I don't want to, you know, there's a Mike Trout. There's a, there's a JJ Blade rookie, you know, I kept a whole bunch to make binders, you know, the top rookies and good rookies, but it gets to a point where I just have too many of those rookies and it's, it's, I can't put them all in binders, you know, so I just give them away, you know, like all of this, um, from Bowman's best, the pitcher rookies, I'm not into them. All the veterans base. Look, here's Allen and Ginter stuff from God knows when, when I opened it. Yeah, I just give it away, man. And now let me show you a stack of stuff 
that I'm also working on that I'm keeping for my binders, okay? So let me give you an example of that. So I have this here, I have three of these like this. So, so you're probably wondering, okay, well, what do you keep for your binders and stuff like that? So I keep that box and I put stuff in that I feel should not be what I call forced sale, right? Because the reality is most people would never buy that from you. So don't force it on them. Now, what is some stuff that I keep that I put on binders where I feel people would appreciate it, especially in a larger quantity? Yeah, so I keep all my silver packs, right? These are all rookies, right? Obviously, silver pack rookies do great. And silver pack base do great. You know, uh, I haven't finished going through this on separating rookies, but even silver pack uh, veterans do great. They are cool cards, and it is a pretty decent, valuable set um, when it's complete. So, you know, silver packs is kind of a premium card, so that's fine, you know, no matter veteran or rookie. So definitely, I keep all of that, and you can see they're all right here, separated. Um, what's here? What is this? Oh, so this is Allen and Ginter, like, parallel stuff there. Non-rookie. Here's Allen and Ginter rookies. Are these? Yeah, these are all Allen and Ginter rookies here. These are a whole bunch of box toppers I don't want from about 17 personal cases I did for myself. I definitely got too high on my own supply. Allen and Ginter minis, I'm going to assume those are rookies. Um, these are all, um, if anybody is into these, um, these relics, the manufactured relics, let me know. I could give you a deal and you can have all of them. Um, what is this? Oh, okay. So like I kept all my 2022 legends. This is a fun set to build. I feel like this is a pretty premium card and this does great in binders. So all my 2022 legends I kept. I think these are great cards. You're not forcing it down anyone's throat. You know, it's not as common as base or anything like that. Um, yeah, so it's, you know, stuff like that. You know, this is, I think, all just 2023 rookies. So like, even if I could pull out any stack right here, it's gonna be all rookies, see? So when I go to make my binder, you know, usually it's how I do it. It's once you start, once you start organizing yourself like this, okay? Once you start organizing yourself like this, when it's time for me to do a binder, I kind of do it like, um, you know, from, from least, least um, expensive to the more expensive stuff or least interesting to the more interesting stuff, right? So if I had a binder right now that I was going to get ready to make to, to sell on our channel, you know, a couple of binders, I would grab from right here, right? Boom. And I would do, you know, uh, four, five, six pages and I could just grab from here and start inserting all rookies. Every one. I already went through it. These are all rookies. I didn't take out the good ones and leave the bad ones. No, they're all in here. Pretty much how I pulled it from packs. Um, so, you know, the alleys, the gunners, they're all in here. And you'll get them at the rate of everyone else, Vinny. Because I didn't separate the players or anything. They're naturally mixed from how they came from tops, you know. So I might do some pages like that. Okay, now I might come down here. And I did separate all the rookies, 88 inserts, right? And now I'll put some 88 inserts in there. Now, these might be, um, these are probably going to be organized by person a little bit because we, me and uh, John John, who does my 
sorting with me and stuff uh, I told them let's make sets out of this and so that's why you might see some of them together so now I'll do a couple of pages of this as long as you organize your cards as you're collecting and receiving them from your breaks it's it's not hard building binders so boom that's a pretty cool those 88 rookies are pretty cool and pretty collectible so those might be the next thing, you know, then I'll go into the legends. Then I have all of these. These are all aces. And then what is this? These are all, this whole section is gold foils. Let me see. Yeah, these are all gold foils. This whole section right here. You know, then I might do some gold foils. And then these are all top rookies right here. I know that for a fact. Those are all top rookies. Um, you know, then I could throw in the silver pack, then go into silver pack rookies. Um, you know, throw some Allen and Ginter rookies in there and, you know, do some pages with the minis. So here's many ones, gold and greens. I'll throw some minis in there. I know people love them, you know, so, and then towards the end, I start adding usually one good card in the center of every page to kind of build up to the last two to three to four pages of just parallels or autos and all this stuff, you know. So like this is one of my boxes. Oh, I hit the camera. Sorry. Let me show you the other one. Come on. One second. Oy. This one is heavy. So here's another one that I have. Um, this thing is extremely heavy. So as you can see, I have the dividers here. I get these off of eBay. I'll see if I have any, no. Anyways, this is the dividers here that I use. Uh, not eBay, I get them off Amazon. Um, and again, so like as I'm done ripping my box, you know, I just put together, I, I sort it like this is all um tops inception you remember how many spots i was eating in tops inception yeah i kept a lot of the base that'll be cool for a couple pages you know especially the ones that have the first initiation um here is a whole bunch of uh generation now these do very well mostly rookie and top players and then i think it goes into bowman chrome rookies I have a ton of uh, the purple cards. Is this them here? Let me see. Yeah, I have a ton of purple cards. Literally a whole row of them. Of these purple cards. These sell really well, whether veteran or rookie. People love set building that. These are all, you know, tops Chrome rookies. All of them. So yeah, that's how I do it. So as long as you stay organized as you're receiving the stuff I send you in the mail from all your breaks or when you open your own product, listen, take the stuff that I showed you in my giveaway box and put it in a giveaway box. Nobody wants your 2021 J. Cronenworth paper rookie card. Nobody. That will, no, let me rephrase that. Nobody wants it that's being forced to pay for it, okay? No one bought your mystery box for the paper-based Jay Cronenworth or paper-based, you know, um, Jazz Chisholm rookie card. They did not buy your mystery product for that. So, you know, they bought it for more kind of harder to hit stuff or less... Um, you know, like this is all Bowman's best. You know, like Bowman best... That's a people like building that set. So you could do rookies or you could do some veterans in there. I, I think I only kept the prospects and like the cool inserts. Oh, there's some there's a veteran. You know, Fernando Tatis Refractor. Um 
so yeah so like bowman's best is cool i i if there is veterans in there i'll probably get rid of most of them all right i've been doing a lot of talking so now i'll look at chat and kind of see what people are saying but anyways as long as you stay organized like that building binders is easy and fun all right thank you ed um Nice, Brent. Let me know how it does. Awesome, Kevin. Yeah, let me know your returns. Pink and blue grape cards. Send me those people rookies and I'll sell for you. Almost 900 listed. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, Dave, there's more. Hey, what's up, Jamie? We're just hanging out. The break's over. We're just kind of hanging out. But I don't want to be just a breaker. I want to help my community move their baseball cards. And again, I'm going to be very picky. You guys know my standard. That's my standard. If you guys can get on board with it like Matt did... Tony Bowman is going to be, oh my God, his stuff makes me and Matt look like peasant baseball collectors. His stuff is crazy and we will be moving some of his stuff. So if you guys, and I know, especially like Ed, he's been in all my breaks. I know almost, I know Ed has a decent collection just from what I've sent him, you know, but he might not be in the Ellie De La Cruz or he might not be into this great autograph that he hit, you know, and bigger cards i would like to at the end of every stream do a quick like hey these are what's available send me a message i'll put you in contact with the seller you know i could even be the middleman right so let's say um let's say jamie wants to buy a card from ryan and ryan is like i'll do 700 but it's got to be friends and family so i don't also get hit with the three and a half percent fee and possibly have to pay income tax on it and this and that. I'll pay it friends and family or I'll do it if you pay friends and family. But Jamie, let's say he's not comfortable with that. Well, Ryan can send it to me. And then once I receive it, then Jamie can feel comfortable enough to pay friends and family. Anyways, I want to help my community recoup their money. How I got to recoup my money through Jabs, who did a great job on my stuff. Um, and that really helped me. And what's the big payoff for me? One is I get to play with more baseball cards and help organize them, which is my, as you can see, that's my thing. And two, if you guys are making more money selling baseball cards you don't want, you're going to be more likely to keep buying in my breaks. It's a win, win, win. Kevin, that $50 stack was better than good. I've never seen a $50 stack like that. Would you do team sets? I'm a collector and love the Cubs and Yankees. No, so like I, I wouldn't do like individual orders like that, you know. Um, but I know Joe, Dave, a lot of guys in here do build sets. They love building sets. And they will gladly um, sell you sets, I'm sure. All good, Jamie. I'm missing out last night. That's cool, dude. But anyways, is what we're talking about, Jamie, is how to recoup some of the money you spend on breaks. Because I know it gets expensive. I know it does. Um... So we were just kind of going over an easy way to move a lot of cards and recoup some of that money. And my, I'm just going to do 10%. Again, 10% is nothing for the amount of work that'll go in. But again, I enjoy it. And um, again, if you sold a thousand dollars worth of cards, I get a hundred bucks. Not even a steak dinner anymore. So, 
that's it. That's all I got. I actually haven't eaten dinner yet. Ceci made tacos and she makes amazing tacos. So I'm going to go have some cold tacos. <laughs> that's crazy, Dave. Well, set again, you know, my, my standard, you know, vet, uh, vintage stuff. So if you have good vintage stuff, I can't, uh, veto those because I don't know what to look for. But if you're like, Jay, trust me, these are good vintage cards. Then we can put that together. Oh, that's awesome, Jamie. The Shohei to 50 gold Bowman best for my $50 stack just sold for 175. That's awesome, Scott. Congrats, brother. Good night, Daniel. Yeah, I, I'm, I figured you did, Dave. But anyways, I want that to be a big part of my community. Why? That's part of buying into breaks as you got to move them. She did do some acting, Ed. I don't know if she was on Sing On. She, she was an actress, though. She's in a couple commercials and a couple soap operas that I know of. Oh, thank you, Kevin. I'll have to... I did actually a couple things too myself, believe it or not, Ed. <laughs> it's what's... I was actually... There's a movie called Sex Drive, and I'm a deputy in that movie. And um, I took my whole family and friends to go watch the movie when it released. And my whole part was cut out. So that was awesome. And then I did a, I did a photo shoot for Ford. I did a commercial while I was on TV. Uh, that aired for a while. Um, I was on a commercial for like some like silver Sonic 2000 like hearing device that helps you like hear if you're hunting or something like that. But anyways, I want to help my community recoup some of their losses from, from breaks. If not, it's going to hurt even more just continuously buying in. You have to recoup some of your money. Even me. That's how I do it. I, I don't, I'm not telling you guys anything I don't do. And I just showed you that. My sons loved comping the stacks. The return was insane. They stopped around a thousand dollars for my three stacks. Amazing. That's awesome, Scott. That's awesome, man. I love it. No, I know. And, and listen, one thing, Dave, I pride myself on my stacks, on my mystery products, on my binders. I pride myself on that. There's nothing I could do about a bad case. And I try and help people out by doing bonus cards or... You know, things like that. Or I tell you what, I'll trade you my good team. You know, I, I try, but I can't control what tops puts in cases, but I can control what I what I sell personally. And um, yeah, I'm going to be very selective and I hope I made that clear enough. If you're going to reach out to me to sell your cards, I'm going to do it. Assuming and we will go through most of them, you know, it meets what I would like. Yeah, that's it, Jamie. Saying no is not hard for me when it comes to that type of products, man. I feel like I really paved the way for that. I really take pride on mystery products and binders and things like that. I'll tell you this. Get ready to give people a great deal. You know, don't don't show me $50 worth of cards and say, I'll be okay you know, taking $40, like, no, that's, we're going to be more around $25, $30 is what I would recommend. Again, you have to use it as a quick, easy way to move a whole bunch of stuff without individually listing stuff on eBay. So anyways, that's it. I'm going to go eat some tacos. You guys are the best. I thought that was a pretty okay case of Allen and Genter. Um, we did hit some really nice cards, including a Super Fractor. 
So I thought it was a decent case. Um, again, tomorrow, three caser of Topps Gold Label. If you want to get on that, unfortunately, it will have to be through. Well, not unfortunate. It's no big deal. It does have to go through eBay, though. So you do have to bid on it. I'm sure some of those teams are going to go for a steal. Um, so that is our break for tomorrow um, and Sunday. Sunday's a two caser also listed on eBay. So that's it, guys. Help me help you. I'm telling you, as someone who spent a lot of money in breaks, and I still do, I recoup 50% or more of my losses by putting together good product and giving people good deals. So if you guys want to recoup some of your money that you spend here on this channel, I am at your beck and I want to help you and we'll get it done. So good night, everyone. Thank you so much for all your support. I love the community we're building. And man, I'm excited. Like tonight when I get off stream and I'm eating my tacos, like I'm going to be like, man, we're, we're doing it. We're, we're doing a great job. And we're going to keep rolling that way. So all right, for the fifth time, good night, everyone. And thank you so much again.